Hey everyone, welcome back to Quant Prof. Today we are going to solve a Quant Box interview question. Check the description for more Quant interview resources. Let's look at the problem. We have an n cross n square grid. We fill each cell in the grid with either 0 or 1 in such a manner that the sum of numbers in each continuous 2 cross 2 subgrid sums up to 2. What is the number of ways we can fill up the n cross n grid? For example, in the following 4 cross 4 grid, each of these subgrids must have sum equal to 2. Pause the video here if you want to give it a try. Let's look at the solution. Suppose we fill the first row. Notice these two columns. The values in the next row for these columns must both be 1. Similarly, the values in the subsequent rows for these two columns also get fixed. Now, consider this 2 cross 2 subgrid. Three values are already fixed, so the fourth value is also determined. By the same logic, the entire grid gets fixed once we fill the first row. However, this holds true only if the first row is not alternating. If the first row is alternating, for example, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, the next row can either be 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, or 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Thus, we have two options for the next row. The same logic applies to all subsequent rows. So in this case, we will have two raised to the power n minus one options to fill the grid after the first row is fixed, unlike the previous case where there was only one way to fill the entire grid. Hence, if the first row is alternating, there are two raised to the power n minus one ways of filling the remaining rows. There are two ways to make the first row alternating. You either fill it with 0, 1, 0, 1, and so on, or 1, 0, 1, 0, and so. Hence, the total number of grids with the first row alternating are 2 into 2 raised to the power n minus 1, which is equal to 2 raised to the power n. On the other hand, if the first row is not alternating, there is only one way of filling the remaining rows. Uh, there are two raised to the power n minus two ways to make the first row non-alternating. Hence, the total number of grids with the first row non-alternating are two raised to the power n minus two. Hence, the total number of grids is two raised to the power n plus two raised to the power n minus two, which is equal to two raised to the power n plus one minus two. Let's consider another problem. We have 25 points arranged in this pattern. The distance between any two adjacent points is one unit. We select three points randomly and independently. These points do not have to be different. The same point can be selected multiple times. Then we use these three points to construct a triangle. If A denotes the area of the triangle, what is the expected value of A square? Try to solve this on your own. Hope you liked the video. If you want to learn how to solve these kinds of interview problems, we invite you to check out our course Quant Interview Masterclass, where we teach you how to think when solving difficult problems. We also cover the entire theory specifically tailored for Quant interviews, along with over a thousand problems. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Until then, Godspeed.